selection by Jamaica Choir after that, the preach word of God Elder Alan Johnson. Choir for those two songs. Praise God. When we all get to heaven. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise now, as the bishop had said, it's a prepared place yes. for prepared people. Yes. And be sure to win heaven, we all have to prepare. Yes. You know, praise the Lord, I was praying all week, and even as I come in this house, I said, Lord, deliver me. Deliver me, Lord. And, you know, while Bishop was praying, I, I wasn't premeditating. I feel this anointing in my body, like virtue left me to somebody. And I bless God. Believe me, I felt something left me, saints of God. Somebody want to deliver in body and in spirit. I'm not doubting myself. You want to doubt me. I'm not. I believe in one supreme. Praise the Lord. You want doubt, you doubt. But let that man believe in that supreme. Yeah. Because what he say, you move at his command. Somebody. Remember, in body and in spirit, somebody want to be delivered. Yeah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise. I'm not putting myself in the state of Christ, but I'm working as a commission for Jesus Christ. Amen. When the crowds tried to stop that woman, she pressed the more. And Jesus knows somebody had touched her. Somebody needs something today. Yeah. God is not dead. God is right here. Saints of God, we can make this house a heaven down here. We don't come in and sit down like we lost saints of God. The cares of life burden us down. Not only the old, but the young. We are helpless. We don't remember that we are in the house of God. We come and we sit down. And we know we gather. And we know we left. But what had been said, we don't know. 
trial and cross it saints of God it must come and for you to be a saint to be taken out of this world as a saint of God you have to go through everything in this world everything but if you come in the house of God with your burden and you sit down and don't cast it to the man that you come to, you're going out back with your burden. You're going out back this afternoon with your burden. Don't come and sit down and last. I don't hear this song. What is it, saints? What is it? Who I have I on earth? Who in heaven but thee? Jesus Christ and him alone. You know, I'm worried since I found the ministry. For if I want to make heaven, and I continue in my ways, I won't make heaven. Not in my way. I worried since I get the ministry. And you know why? I don't want to sin. That's why I'm worried. This thing is priceless. Don't let your burden, please. Those who are here are not saved. Don't let your burden. Perchance you come to the house of God. And God move with miracle and his savior. Please don't let your burden. Young believers, don't let your burden. Thank God for Sister John to return to us safe. She's not hiding. Praise the Lord for her. Praise the Lord for her, saints. Thank God. We know our young people keep up their head. Give them the go. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give them the go. Encourage them. They are the flowers. Amen. Don't sit down. Awake, sin. God is watching us. The way we carry this thing. It's not how we carry things in our pocketbook. I say, I'm worried since I received the ministry. Because as if I sin, I know to myself that there's a warrant out for me. If I sin, there's a warrant. I, I hate brethren. I'm not just saying it. Praise the Lord. To know when you come to the house of God. Don't let the cares of life bring you down. Worry your mind. When you see a full church, that's the time you're going to rejoice. Rejoice when two people are in the church. Amen. Only two in the church rejoice. Yes. Praise God. Bear the burden of the church. Bear the burden of the church. How long, Lord Jesus? How long? How long, Lord Jesus? How long? It may be noon, it may be twilight. But the blackness of night may burst into light. Yes. And Jesus calls you all. Will you be ready? Yeah, will all of us in this house this moment. Mm -hmm. Will say come Lord come quickly. Yes. Receive my soul. Yes, Lord. Every individual in this house saying this morning. Yes, Lord. The smallest of child. Are you willing to, price, to pay the price for sin? Are you willing? Don't believe when I come in here Sunday and I sit on this chair here. Only looking down at the audience to see what you are doing. The Spirit of God is in you. He's looking. And I grieve in my spirit when I see saints of God sit down. No life, no testimony, no weeping, no mourning. What happened to the water in your eyes? Nobody crying no more. Nobody crying. Why we are not crying? I'm not saying you're crying because you sin. Cry for joy. Weep for joy. Weep to clothe in God. Weep to clothe in Him. Just don't sit down natural, neutral. You never drive a car in neutral. Put it in drive and the car go. You'll be burning all your gas out. We are neutral. Since we are neutral. God bear it witness this morning. We are neutral. We want to move. The ground is still shallow. Slippery ground. 
I'm pleading sins of God with you. That's, that, that's my title. To plead with one. I alone can feel heaven. Never, never have a covetous spirit in me. Never in my mind. I never covet a man for nothing. You know what I try to do? Encourage you. Encourage everyone. And if we get that spirit in the house of God to encourage one another, not to be covetous, to be spiritual minded, we can make it. Covetous! It's not supposed to be found among us. If I desire to live God's life, I have to love you. And if I'm a covetous man standing right before you this moment, I can make heaven. If I am covet to give the money to the house of God, it won't work. I'm going to say something to your sins, and don't believe I'm insulting you. But it's for your betterment. You know, one night, I get a lot of experience. Soros wasn't keeping here. I've seen a new organization. It's a Pentecost church. It's open. And I go and I sit down, and I was watching the service, and everybody was on fire. And did you know Men and women never covet the money that was in their pocket to put it in their plate. They never covet it. It was a night service. And they never covet the money to put it in the plate. You know how much money? Just for the night service, they give $600 for the evening service. I don't know how much they give for the day service. $600. I was sitting in my seat. Newborn is where I birth. I look back to newborn. I said, well, God had done something for these people. Imagine yeah. what God had done for me and you. Yeah. What God had done for us. Yeah. You know, at times I hardly can meet my need. And the time I try to worry about my need, I see God step right in yeah. and cover all the matter. Yeah. I'm just saying that to say this, brethren. I didn't go to another man's church to take off what they have there. But I was just looking. Mm -hmm. I was just visiting. Mm -hmm. So I said, when I come back to my church one day, I'll just tell you that we are the same people that God had called. Amen. We are the same people God called. Yes. And if we have covetous, we are not going to go nowhere. Nobody don't tell you to give all you have. But you know why I said, because we are the people move. I said, God had done something for these people. What had God done for me? What had God done? You know what God done for me? Save my soul. And that's all I'm glad for. God save me. Give me knowledge, wisdom, understanding. I must use it. Not for the cloak of malicious. But I'm right in your midst today. I'm your own bread brother. I'm here to encourage you, not to kill you. I'm here to give you the word of God. To tell you what God mean of you. Want of you. What God need. God don't need the leftover. When you boil the oil, the dunder leave your throat away. God don't need that. I know God need the best. And if you are singing, sing with the melody. Sing with the joy, sing with the peace and the understanding. Give God the best. When you sing, give God the best. Sometimes you may horse, but give him the best. Don't have a covetous mind, saints. Please. I said, God had done something for those people, and God can do something for us. Do the least you can for God. Love your brother, love your sister. And if you love everyone in this church, when the word of God go forth, brethren, you'll feel the anointing. Amen. But I'm delivered. I say I pray 
for some deliverance. And I felt the spirit upon me. God was moving. Believe me, God was moving. Well, I was a natural man. I didn't understand how the people of God move. Natural! And no natural man this morning can receive something from God. If you are natural, you can't receive the word. Spiritual is transformed by the renewing of your mind. Spiritually transformed. Leave out of this body. The believer who needs the Holy Ghost, if he's neutral, if he's natural, he can't. Hear the word of God. Believe the word of God. Get the dropping of the word of God. Stop the word. But if you sit down natural, you're not going to receive the word. Praise him. I'm begging the brethren. When you come to the house of God, open your heart. Don't steer on one another. Don't talk with one another. Listen to what the preacher said. And let me tell you, with those same words, go and bring the Holy Ghost. You go and breathe in the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. You know somebody sitting beside you, but you're lost. If that person should touch you, you're like you're pride because you was gone. You was, you was eating the word. You was supping the word of God. But when you're natural and you're touching one another, you're touching this one, you can't get nothing from God. You can't get a blessing, brethren. We are here in this number. We want a blessing. We want to follow the man of God as how we follow Christ. We want to believe him. We want him to feel good. You know God will God feel good over him? Did you know that? God feel good about Bishop. He desire to preach the word of God. He desire to walk right. And with God please over oh Bishop. He, bishop should please with us. You walk in right. You act right. The danger, the toil, the smear that is out there. We can leave it. At times my young friends would say, I say too much about him. But I'm not yet home. Though my kids told me I'm going over the hill. Praise the Lord. Thank God for them. Yes, I acknowledge it. I'm stepping up. But I love to talk to my young people. Because I was young. And I know what can happen to my young companion. You see, you young woman, when the devil tempts you, try you. And when you feel that the word is not sufficient for you. And when uh, I would say those hungry men of the world catch you. And when they finish with you, you lost your virginity. And you lost all that you had. And you leave to hopeless despair. You can't be satisfied no more. But you see, if you keep in the house of God as you are, you will be satisfied every day. Jacob had one daughter just like you. And he said, Father, let me go over the province and see what the fellows are doing over there. Praise the Lord. The father didn't want she to go. He said, Father, I'm going to see what those boys are doing over there. But the nice words fall upon her, get her heated. And that calling me boy, so sweet, charming words, telling them her how she looked, how she walked. She lost her virginity. Praise the Lord. She lost what she had. If you don't keep in the ministry, I'm saying it will happen to you. I'm just instructing you what can happen. It's not, the word is in the Bible. It's not my word. It can happen to you. But I'm instructing my young friends. Keep in the ministry. If we lost you out of the house of God... These old folks who is traveling so long, they're soon gone. What will happen? The stone. God will give stone power to come in the house of God. 
If we lost you, what will harm do? Consider what manner of person God is. Get the Holy Ghost. Get the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Leave off the principle now. Leave it off. Leave it off. Get the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm begging you for God's sake. Please. Please. Stay with God. Yeah. There's nothing out there good for you. Destruction. Yeah. It's sad to see young, young people with baby dragging them down. They look like a lot of bag on the street. Praise the Lord. But if you be a lady, if you be a gentleman, yes, praise the Lord, let the world hiss, kiss their teeth after you. I'm a lady, I'm a gentleman. Let me wait till God had something good in store for me. I can eat and drink and be satisfied. You can serve God in the beauty of holiness. You can. Let the man steer you. Let he, let he devour you, but keep God's word. What is it? What is it, saints of God? What is it? What is hurt? Yes, I was young, but in a due season, I governed myself. I acknowledge that there's a God to serve. But you don't have that time. Much time leave. You don't have it. Get the Holy Ghost, sister. Only that hope. Yeah. Rest in eternity with God. Yeah. But if you don't get it, I may take you. I'm sorry. You've gone down without hope. But if you get it, let whatsoever may. Let whatsoever may. But God is on the job. I'm not going to be long with you. I'm just taking a few verses from Romans 5. Therefore, I'm being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace. What peace are we talking about, saints? A piece of paper? A piece of cloth? The peace of God. We are talking about the peace of God that rule and direct us spiritually. Let the peace of God direct us today. Yes, sir. Let all the evil, the criticizing, mm -hmm. the backbiting, mm -hmm. the slandering, let the peace of God rule our mind. Yes, sir. Let it rule us. Yes, sir. Let it direct us, brethren. Yes, we want to walk honest. We want to walk pure before this God we serve. Yes, Lord. You mean every day we cry for peace, peace? Where is the peace since we knew God? Where is the peace of mind? Where is it? When I was a child, I heard they need peace in the Middle East. I didn't know where that Middle East was, but since I come to this country, I realize where the Middle East is. And they are crying for peace, peace. But who's going to give that peace? It's only one supreme who's going to give that peace. It's God. Yes, sir. Don't matter how many nations want to meet. It's only God going to give the peace. And man have to change. Man have to repent. Yes, sir. And unless man repent, there's no peace in no your life. Peace. It's been trouble, trouble. Yes, sir. But when man repent, God give you all you need. Yes. Every day, peace, peace. Yes, you read the paper, peace. Yes. You hear on the news, peace. Yes. But where is the peace? Where, where is the peace? Mm -hmm. But let we in the church. Yes, sir. We here. Yes, sir. Let we receive peace and keep peace. Yes, sir. Don't, don't come in here every day testifying that I have the peace of God. And we don't have it. You have to mean what you testify, brethren. Yes, you have to mean what you preach. Right, I'm pointing to you this finger pointing back to me. Peace, 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 my brother. Peace, my sister. But I don't have peace in my soul. I'm like a raving wolf. I'm a backbiter. I'm a slanderer. No peace in my life. But I'm crying peace to my sins right before me here. Peace, peace. Yes, yes. And in my soul, I'm like a raving wolf. I can't make peace with you. How are you going to make peace with the world? 
I can't make peace where I live. How can I go to somebody else's house and make peace? Read for me somebody read. The second verse of Romans 5. For I who also have access by faith into this great world we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Then we come and rejoice mm -hmm. in the hope in God. Uh -huh. So we have that peace. Yes, sir. And it is the glory of God. But within our heart, it's full of excess. Dead man bones. Yes. We are o like open graves. Mm -hmm. The things that lies there. Mm -hmm. If God should turn over. Turn over, brethren. Yes. We will be condemned. Mm -hmm. But in my life, I'm said, peace, my brother. Peace, peace my sister. Uh -huh. yes. Praise God. But in my heart, brethren, it's like dead man bones. The doctor have to put a tube in my nose to go down mm -hmm. and suck all those mm -hmm. corruption out of my body. Yes. But you know what going to take the corruption out of our body? It's the word of God. Yes, sir. No matter what the doctor wants to do, no matter how many times he wants to cut you, mm -hmm. but when the word of God do everything, brethren, mm -hmm. it's well done. Peace, brother, peace. Uh -huh. But where is the peace? Where is the peace? Every day we come, I shook your hand. But sometimes you can't feel your bridging hand bridging. You touch you like you touch a piece of paper. The envy is still there. The hypocrisy. The grudging is still there. The lying is still there. But I hold your hand. You can with your spiritual mind, you can feel it. Uh -huh. That's right. You know when your brother tried to shun you? Praise you know when your sister tried to shun you? Praise but silly wave, peace, brother. Praise but there's none in the heart, no peace in the heart. Right. If God should come at that hour, oh, where you think I will be? Mm -hmm. He'll find my portion with the hypocrites. Yeah. I'll die in my sin. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Peace. Hallelujah. Where is the peace? Uh -huh. No peace. God. Read, brother. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. We glory in tribulation. Yes. And tribulation worketh? Patience. Patient. Mm -hmm. Do you have patience this morning to possess your soul? Mm. Do you have patience to possess your soul? All right. Tribulation worketh patient. patience. It's impossible. The word are here. Mm -hmm. And not only mm -hmm. so, but we glory in tribulation. Glory. We should glory in it. Glory. All your trials is going down. This is a grief this morning about the pain she's bearing. Yeah. But only she can bear that pain. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Only she. Yeah. I have to bear my pain also. Yeah. She have to glory in that pain. You have to glory in your tribulation. Amen. You can't take another man's tribulation and glory in it. In your tribulation, uh -huh. in your distress, right. in your crosses, yeah. in your home, mm -hmm. at your work. Yeah. Those are the two places important. At your home, mm -hmm. at your work, you have tribulation. Yeah. You have crosses. Yeah. And you have to stand and bear it as a child of God. Yes, sir. If you don't bear them, brethren, you will be swearing. You will be doing evil. Yeah. Praise the Lord. The brother say, have to suffer all things. Mm -hmm. What could stop the brother from committing sin? Mm -hmm. What could stop the brother from cursing? Mm -hmm. But when he retract his life with God, he saw the mark. And then he had come back to himself. And continue in the word of God. Yes. Praise the Lord, brethren. Mm -hmm. Tribulation, brethren, work at experience. And when you have experience of things, brethren, you only go on and on and on and on. Yes, till you fulfill what God wants you to do. Yes. But when you are going on without experience, you will do things unseemly. 
Who in this house don't have tribulation in their life? Who in this house don't have tribulation? Who in this house don't tempt? Who don't try? You can tell the old man, oh, you are old. You tempt no more. The old lady, you are old. You tempt no more. You can serve God better than me. Who tell you that? It's just the same feel in his flesh and blood. Because the person is old, he don't have no cross. Your tribulation is not mine. My tribulation, I have to stand up on it. And you have to stand to your tribulation. Praise the Lord. You can't glory in the other man's tribulation. It worketh experience to them that believe God. You know the man that is going on the street here? You know he, you know he had tribulation? He had cross? Why do you think that man got down the White House and pour something on himself and light himself on fire? Something is in his life. And any one of us retreat from this vow we made. Believe me. It's in, it's, it's in the net. We're going back to do, do those things. Anyone, any one of us retreat, we're going back. But let your tribulation keep you. Walk in them. Talk in them. You know, at times, brethren, we fail to call God's attention to our problem. And when we take all our problem and our self brethren, it makes us miserable. It makes us miserable. Yes, and then we start to swear, we start to smoke, we start to drink, and we start to every abomination. Praise but let me say the vodka tobacco can do it. Mm -hmm. The cigar can do it. And one thing I know can do it is the word of God. The witchcraft doctor can't do it. One supreme is Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, Lord. This brother talked to me in Jamaica once, you know. He said, brother, I'm suffering. I'm suffering. I don't know what is it. I lost my job. I lost everything. He said, brother, think that by this thing is the lifeblood of Jesus Christ. The blood... Praise the Lord. Jesus' blood shed on the cross of Calvary. You're enjoying it today. You're enjoying it tomorrow and hereafter. You shall enjoy the peace. Because it's in bored with the priceless blood. Yes, sir. I say, any of my friends over there can just say, Lord, give me a chance. Yes, you can bow right now. Right now. Right now and look to the hills from whence come at your help. And said my help cometh from the Lord. And the Lord can do a quick work in righteousness. The Lord can do a quick work in righteousness for any man over there. Who have not yet tasted the wine. Believe me. You can. And all your problem. All your trouble. If you are married. Or if you are unmarried. You can receive the price. And when you go home, and when you leave to your work, you can say, you have a husband, leave at home. I have a wife, leave at home. The word of God, you're married to Jesus Christ. You're married to Jesus. So my husband is in the house. My wife is in the house. The word of God. The peace, the peace I'm talking about, which is in us, the peace. Not the world peace, Christ's peace. That's all we need. What else you need, brethren? The peace of God. Rule and direct your heart, your mind, your thought. When you are drowning, the peace of God will uphold you. The sister prayed over his son and said, Lord, deliver my child. And she was so happy. That child didn't die. But let me say, my dear God, will test you, try you with your own child. And see what you'll do. God will try you. If you have that peace in you, if not, you're going to see curious heart. Somebody said something, man, my child, I don't like how this child is for me. Forget those evil. Don't believe in them. You can't be hurt. You know when you're going to hurt? If you turn from your 
turn from God. But as long as I serve the God in heaven, every curious art in this life can come. I'm not scared. I was speaking to my co-worker this week. And one told me, tell me if I go home and come back. And I cross a line. When you step over what can happen. And with a loud voice I said, The God that I serve, uh -huh. you bring what you want to. I'll step over it. Yeah. And I'll bet you my life the God I serve will deliver me because I believe yeah. him. Yeah. What is it means the power of God unto salvation. Yeah. And it is greater than that which is in the world. Uh -huh. So if there's any doubt in any of your heart this morning, uh -huh. tell the world that yeah. what is in you is greater than that yeah. is the world. Uh -huh. yeah. God is in your life. God is in your life and I will bet it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. For ever since the world began, I never found a Messiah like this. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. It's the greatest of my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You come with your curious heart and you do all what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. This man, uh -huh. he can do all for you. You may worry, uh -huh. you may cry, but listen, mm -hmm. there is a God somewhere. Yeah. There is a God can fill your need, uh -huh. and when it pleases God, then man must move. Uh -huh. Don't sorry, uh -huh. don't worry. Yeah. The peace that is in you is greater than that which you don't have. Yeah. For that which, which you don't have, you don't know nothing about it. Yeah. But you have the peace of mind. I'm saying to you, saying you have the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Don't doubt yourself. Praise Don't God. doubt yourself. You have the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I had a bishop in Jamaica. And let me say, brethren. He believed God so much that somebody tried to kill him. Mm -hmm. And he had a fast for about three days and he stayed in the church one night. And let me tell you something, the man hid with the machete at the roadside. Mm -hmm. And you know he couldn't kill the bishop? He couldn't kill him. They give him something to eat. Uh -huh. And he'd go down in him and he never kill him. Mm -hmm. He never kill him. He believed God so much that he lived and lived and lived until God take him out of the world. I said, the man hide, you know, when he's coming from service. Mm -hmm. And the man was there until daylight and he couldn't come out and kill the bishop. Mm -hmm. He couldn't use the weapon. Mm -hmm. Because there was another weapon which was not of war. Yeah. Yeah. It was of peace. Yeah. Yeah. And God used it yeah. and conquered the enemy. Yeah. 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 He tried to use a weapon of war upon him, man of God. But God conquered him. Because the peace was in his mind. Yeah. And if the peace is in your mind, let the enemy come. Yeah. Right. Don't worry yourself. Right. Trust the man that you serve. Yeah. He couldn't use the weapon of war. Because the peace of God conquered him. And God rest his soul today. That's why I, I keep in salvation. I could have gone. But when I see God move these mighty men out of the way and lead the way mm -hmm. that others should step up, mm -hmm. I said, let me continue. Mm -hmm. But it must be something good that God had done to these men while they stay. Mm -hmm. All in their suffering. Mm -hmm. They never give up. All in their suffering. Mm -hmm. And when God moved them out of the way, they buried the whole bishop. Yes, sir. Know that eternal life is theirs. Mm -hmm. And if you suffer long, you're going to reign with your God. Because this peace that your God gave you is not of the world. It's mighty through Jesus Christ. It's powerful than any two-edged sword. Pierce asunder heart, mind, and thought. I said the man stay there until daylight with that weapon. 
But it was a weapon of war. And your enemy, they will lay with you. They may not only have a weapon, but they may have the word. They may have a deceiving spirit in them to deceive you. But if you keep the peace, live in it. Yes, sir. God will keep you, my dear. God will keep you, my dear. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Isaiah 32, 17 and 18. God will keep you. This peace we have, not as the world gives. God is keeping us. God is keeping everyone in this church. Yes, sir. 17 and 18. And the work of righteousness, your work, shall be peace. Go on. And the effect of righteousness, quietness, and restores forever. It's forever. Go on. And my people shall dwell in a peaceful habitation, and in sure dwelling, and in quiet resting places. My people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation. A peaceable habitation. My people, God people. Praise the Lord. Don't doubt God. If you doubt God this morning, it will be sin. My people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation. It's not made with hand. It is spiritual in the heaven. You're going to live with God. You're going to reign with God. You're going to reign with him. Sooner or later, we are going to reign with God. I'm saying it by faith. We are going to reign with God. This peaceful habitation... You're going to live in it. Go back to my message, brother. You're going to live in it. Read on. And the hope laid is not strange, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Romans 5. Read the fourth verse. And patience is spirit, and spirit is hope. Patience. You need patience to possess your soul. And patient experience and experience hope. Hope make it not a shame. It's not a shame, brethren, to call Jesus your Father, your Lord, of all. Don't be ashamed of the title of the Lord. Hope, hope make it not a shame of the things that you have done. It's a hope in you, so you you shouldn't be ashamed. You unsaved brother, you unsaved sister, you can't pray let them hear, you can't sing let them hear. Why? Because your life is not up to the mark. You say the same thing they say, you sing the same song they sing. You can't pray let them hear. Praise the Lord. You have to go down and say, what you're doing down there, I'll soon come. That's where you hide pray. Pray right in their midst. Pray right in their midst. Convince them that you are saved. Don't hide and pray. He's your brother. He's your sister. You can't neglect them. But pray the prayer of faith. Show them the life you live. Act right. Talk right. But when you're not acting right, you have to hide and pray. You can't call Jesus' name. Because they're going to tell you you're not saved. You're not saved. I can't believe your word. I can't take your word because you're not living. Amen. Jesus don't count slackness as man count it. So you live in slack. You live in light. No peace in your life. You want to tell me that you have peace? Show me the peace. Show me the peace in your life. Show me that you are perfect. I can't pray. I have to hide. You mean to tell me? Live in the same house and have to be hiding. You want to condemn me? It's happening. Read on, brother. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Christ died. We were sinners. We were ungodly. We were filthy rags. We were all over in purifying sword. Our neighbor was not yet cut. All over. No peace was in us. And Christ took down. Christ died. He had, didn't have to do it. Christ gave him life. 
he bear a thorn on his head. Five bleeding wounds he bear on Calvary. A sword in his side. Praise the Lord. It was for us, the five bleeding wounds. He received them all on Calvary. Just to save our lives. Are you looking today that Jesus is blessing your soul? Are you really believe that God is blessing you? You should call yourself blessed. We are very fortunate this moment to sit in this sanctuary to praise God. How many want this opportunity? How many? No man walking around this assembly with gun on their shoulder watching over this place. No man, we are free to serve God as we want. And many today, if they go to the church or to the synagogue, they have to be watched by guns and all ammunition. But the only ammunition watching us today is the God himself. Are you not happy for that opportunity? Are you not happy that God is watching you? God is keeping you without a gun, without a knife. You have the Bible to read, nobody taking it away. How many need a Bible? How many long for the word of God and can't hear the word? Because there's no peace in the world today that God could have the opportunity that somebody could preach the word of God. We are fortunate. We are blessed. We are blessed, brethren. You can step out of this assembly, step in whatsoever automobile you have, drive home, sit in the house, eat a decent dinner, and if it please God for you to return here, there's no gun watching you, nobody shouting after you. I mean, war is in this country, but when you look back, in other country, what is taking place? Men is get, getting killed for the truth. You only kill you when kill for the truth here if you slander one another with your mouth. That's the only killing here. If you start to use your mouth, you put the piece of God aside and use your mouth, then that will be the killing. That would be the gun, that would be the knife. But as long as we live in the word, the peace of God will rule and direct our heart to the intents. Is only one supreme. I believe one, one supreme. And if the angel bring another message that is another one or another one, that's three. He said, "Let him be a curse." He said, "One voice pass, and the whole another is coming." It's a peaceful habitation with God. I'm happy. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perventure. For a good man, some would even dare to die. Dear, which one of you this moment will dare to die for your brother? Which one of you will take the accused for your brother? Which one of you will defend your sister? Which of you, dear a righteous man who dies, scares me. You word prevent. Prevent. That what it say. That means scarcely. I would defend my brother. Scarcely. Maybe I'll defend him. Much more scarcely to die for that man. I'll take all the accusation for him. <coughs> Somebody going to tell me that, that my brother, they accuse him of stealing. They accuse him of lying. Are you going to stand up and talk for that brother? Are you going to stand up? <coughs> I'm my sister, but I don't know if he's living the life. <laughs> I don't know if he's living the life. Why? You don't know him? You can't defend him? You mean you're going to put about there with the man with the rottenness and saying that your brother is your sister?
Jonathan love. David loved Jonathan so much. That you hear what he's saying in one of the statements in Samuel. His love that he had for him, love, was the love compassed, the love of a woman. Another man saying that to another man. He didn't love him in anything else but the love of God. Remember now. He never loved him like a man loving man out here. Praise the Lord. He loved him because he was a son of God. The love compassed the love of a woman because God's peace was in his heart. And let me tell you something again. Absalom, David's son, had done something grievous. And God set a mark that nobody should touch him because he's a servant. Don't, don't dare you touch this servant of God. If he leave the house, let him leave in peace. He'll get what he need. He'll get what he need. Absalom believed that God would meet him. Praise the Lord. The peace that God gave him left his life. Dear you this morning, if God peace left you, you're going to be a cast out. And Absalom traveled and traveled. You know what take his life? He was hung by the lash of his hair into an oak tree. So dare you touch God's servant. He was, she was God's servant. But the peace of mind left him. And he was to open this spear. Don't you touch him. Say no evil. Don't accuse him. Pray for that one. But it's hard, brother. We can't pray for my brother. Lord, you know, he's saying backslide. In backslide. But let me tell you something. I will cry. I mourn. Because I love the person not of fine flesh. But I love his soul. So I don't, I don't laugh. I grieve. They are the upkeeping. My dear ones who have left the faith. I grieve. I sorrow. I don't rejoice. The scripture says, scarcely will a righteous man die. Scarcely. You start to rejoice and you start to call one another and so, 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 so. You hear who left the church? You know what she had done? You know what he had done? You should find that one and find out. If it please God for that one to return in the house. But through that, you speak so much evil. You stretch that one so much far apart from the church. He can come back. He can come back. Because you are talking and no peace in my life. No peace. All I see is my brother who left the church. But what we should do? Just pray. That's all we can do. God will do the rest. Just pray over the matter. Sins, I want to make heaven. That's where I want to go. Not me only, I want you to go with me. And I'm begging my young saints who have not yet received the Holy Ghost. It's so nice to get the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord! It's so nice to spiritually transform. I'm begging you, just suffer a little longer. Cast the doubt. At times, let me tell you something, what is in your life? That little pride. Little pride, just that, you know. Nice dress. If I bend my nice white slip, somebody going to step on it. Praise the Lord. A nice suit, dirty. I want the Holy Ghost. When I, when I need the Holy when I, before I got the Holy Ghost, let me say instead, I had on a nice suit of feet so good. And when I heard the word of God preach and the power of God was coming down, bridge, and I stuck my head in the bench, have a, a place that you could put your head through, and I stuck my head in there now. I put that suit in that dirt and I roll. I say, Lord, I need deliverance in my soul. I need the Holy Ghost. So, let's suffer and let the pride, the little pride, they come out of your life. Pride, you know, pride. And you know where it is. You know it large. I love to see you. And when you receive the Holy Ghost, when you're skipping this house, 
You feel like you're sucking a piece of honeycomb. Maybe you don't know what a honeycomb is. With some juice of that honey, sister and brother, it's so sweet. When you get the Holy Ghost and you're skipping here, when you're speaking tongues, you feel that heaven come down. You don't hear how the sister speak this morning, this testimony. She feel good. She feel happy. And she speak loud. She not compromise. She have the Holy Ghost and she feels sweet. Thank God for her. God bless you. Pray for Brother Johnson. I want to meet him. In my father's house. And if it was not so, I would not have told you. My peace I give unto you. And my peace I leave it to you. In Jesus' name. 916 Rittenhouse Street. Washington Northwest DC 20011. The late Elder Alan Johnson.